Congress and joining me now, Democratic Congressman from California, Adam Schiff. Thank you so much for joining me, sir. You bet, Tamron. As our first read team has pointed out, that we know that a lot is going on behind the scenes. There's a fear of these so-called poison pill amendments that could have a big effect on the mansion to me compromise. But the next obstacle is pointed out by our team, and we all know this very well, the House of Representatives. I want to read a bit of what they said. They said, as we've seen in the past with the fiscal cliff deal and Hurricane Sandy relief, the House is willing to bring legislation to the floor that is not supported by a majority of the majority if it has garnered 70 or more votes in the Senate. And right now, the Manchin-Toomey measure is nowhere close to getting that number. So the major obstacle, of course, the House and those Republicans, your colleagues there, what are you hearing behind the scenes if, in fact, we get past the Senate here? Well, I don't think there's a magic number like 70 that the House of Representatives looks at. I think what the Speaker will consider in violating that so-called Hastert rule about not bringing up things that don't have a majority of the majority party support is whether the political pressure around the country is so great that it would be so damaging uh, to the Republican brand for them to bottle the bill up in the House. That's really the ultimate question here, I think, for the Speaker. He obviously wants to keep his job and can't depart from that rule very often. But here, 90 percent of the American people want universal background checks. In fact, 90 percent of the American people would support something stronger than Manchin to me. So I think it would be a disaster for the Republicans to uh, keep this up, uh, uh, keep this from getting a vote, or try to add poison pills and kill it. I mean, if the Congress of the United States can't something that enjoys that kind of supermajority support, that powerful right. and emotive issue around the country, uh, it will be, I think, devastating for the House leadership. So you don't believe that there's a threshold point that would apply uh, pressure to Speaker Boehner here, the notion of um, 64 votes or the 70 number that was brought there that, that would bring some kind of pressure to the Speaker of the House? You know, I think only insofar as the number of votes in the Senate reflects what the popular sentiment and popular will is, is it a really good barometer of what the Speaker will do. And here, even if it's a very close vote in the Senate, uh, the American people are, are squarely behind this, uh, and I think the, the emotion you heard from that Newtown mother just now, uh, if that can't move you, then you must be made out of stone. Well, well then uh, let me bring you then to someone within your own party, Heidi Heitkamp. She's disputing the uh, New York Times report that she's a no vote, saying that she is still undecided. We're not talking about ex ex just Republicans here. We're, we're seeing some Democrats as well. No, that's absolutely true. I mean, there's some uh, Democrats from some of these uh, very strong gun rights states that are having a hard time with this, and they're going to have to come around. And I think most of them will come around. Uh, we are very close to getting the votes necessary on this bill in the Senate. And I think when you get that close, there's a certain logic of its own that takes over and a certain momentum. Uh, and no one wants to walk away from a deal that's that close to passage. So I think those votes at the end will flip our way. Uh, and I hope, frankly, that we can achieve much more than what we see in Mansion Toomey. Mm -hmm. It may take some time, but I want to see us with an assault weapon ban, a ban on extended clips. I want to see us with a much better uh, mental health system. Uh, and those issues are not going to go away either. Thank you so much, Congressman Ship, for your time. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. And you now bet. let me bring in.